Hello friends, this video on reproduction in organisms part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now talk about asexual reproduction. So what is asexual reproduction? As I said, it is that mode of reproduction in which new individuals are formed from a single parent. So let us see what is asexual reproduction. So here we need only single parent. So we do not need a male and a female to fuse together and give rise to a daughter organism. We just need one individual and that individual alone can give rise to new organisms. Now here the new organisms which are produced which are often called the daughter cells or the daughter organisms. So the daughter is exactly identical to the parent in terms of morphological identical it, it is also genetically identical and that is why they are often called as clones. So the daughters are clones of the parents. It is a faster mode of reproduction because a lot of individuals can be produced at the same time so the rate of reproduction is very high. Now some of the organisms where asexual reproduction takes place are mostly the unicellular organisms like the bacteria or uh, the amoeba or even in lower animals like hydra, planaria, uh, tapeworm, euglena. So these are some of the organisms where asexual reproduction take place. Now asexual reproduction is also seen in plants with simpler body organization. For example, onion, rose, potato. These are some of the plants where asexual reproduction take place. So as you can see here. Now in asexual reproduction also you have many different types so one parent giving rise to the uh, daughters so in that also how the parents give rise to their daughters there also you may have many different types so some of the types of asexual reproduction which we will discuss here are fission budding regeneration fragmentation spore formation and vegetative propagation. So these are some of the modes of asexual reproduction which we will discuss now. So let us start with fission. The term fission means to split. So this term itself means to split. So we will see how the parent organism splits. So here the organism splits to form two or more new individuals. So very simple, right? So the organism itself will split. Can you imagine human beings reproducing like that? not possible right because we do not have that capacity to split ourselves but some organisms do have and that is why fission take place in them now this splitting can again take can occur in a variety of ways now how they occur we will see that broadly there are two types of fission one is called binary fission and the other one is called multiple fission so when we talk about binary fission it means that the parent organism divides into two daughters individuals when we say multiple fission that means the parent organism divides into multiple daughter individuals so that is why it is multiple fission. So these are the two types. Now this splitting as I said can occur in a variety of ways. For example, the splitting can occur along any plane. It can occur along a specific plane. The organism can split into two parts. The organism can split into many parts. So there are a variety of ways by which this splitting occurs. So we will see this. Now generally fission is seen in unicellular organisms. So let us talk about the binary fission. Now in binary fission two new individuals are formed. So in this case what happens is the nucleus divides only once. Now when I say that the organism splits to form new organisms that means the parent organism has a nucleus and all the uh, cell organs etc. Similarly the daughter organism should also have the same. So if parent organism has one nucleus it is expected that both the daughters which are produced they should also have one nucleus each. That means the nucleus of the parent has to divide. So in binary fission since we need only two uh, daughter organisms so the nucleus divides only once because if it divides only once how, what will happen? Let us suppose this was the nucleus so this will divide once and it will form two nucleus. So our job is done because we just wanted two daughters to be produced. So unicellular organisms like amoeba, paramecium, euglena and bacteria, they all undergo binary fission. So in binary fission, exactly two equal halves are 
produced and the splitting in this case can occur along any plane for example now, these are the organisms where binary fission take place. Now, let us take example of amoeba. So, in amoeba, if you look at the way splitting occurs, the splitting just occurs across any plane. So, this is your amoeba which doesn't have a definite shape. So, if you see the nucleus starts stretching itself. So, it stretches so much that it finally divides. So, the nucleus divides into two halves and finally the organism also gets divided into two halves. So, there is no specific plane along which this splitting take place. So, in case of amoeba, the splitting occurs across any random plane. However, in certain organisms, for example, this organism called Lishmania, so this was amoeba. And in amoeba, the splitting occurs along splitting along any plane. So there is no specific plane. But in case of this organism, that is Lishmania. So, in this organism, what do we see? So, what is Lishmania? It is a protozoa, that same protozoa which causes the disease Kala Azar. So, it is that protozoa. So, how the splitting occurs? Now, here the splitting occurs across a, along a specific plane. So, if you see here, this is how the organism look like and it divides somewhere along this plane. So, it will always divide along this plane. It cannot divide along this plane. I mean, if you feel, if you think that, okay, let it divide like this, this is one half and this is another half, that is not possible. So, it will always divide along this specific plane. So, here you can see, this is the specific plane along which it will divide into two parts. So, now this, each of these splitted part will form an independent daughter and the parent ceases to exist because like, the, for example, here, this was the parent, right? Now, this parent splits itself to form two daughter cells. Correct? But what happened to the parent? The parent doesn't exist anymore because the parent only got divided into two daughter cells. So how will the parent exist? So the parent ceases to exist. So it is first, the first step is the nucleus divides and then it is followed by the division of the cytoplasm. Now this type of fission that is binary fission takes place under favorable conditions. It cannot take place under unfavorable conditions. So what are the important points about binary fission? Two daughters are produced, uh, the uh, splitting can occur along uh, any plane as in amoeba or it can occur along specific plane as in Lishmania. So the first step of binary fission is nuclear division and which is followed by cytoplasm division. Now let us look at multiple fission. Now as I had already mentioned before that in multiple fission many new individuals are formed. So it is not just two daughters but multiple daughters are formed in this case. So here the nucleus divides repeatedly. Now if you want multiple daughters that means you also want multiple nuclei, one for each daughter. So the nucleus of the parent has to divide repeatedly so that multiple nuclei are produced. This takes place under unfavorable conditions. Now this is interesting. Binary fission takes place only under favorable conditions but multiple fission takes place under unfavorable conditions. Why? Because in bi multiple fission cyst formation takes place. Now in binary fission what happens that the parent organism just divides into two parts and each part develops into an organism. So it cannot happen in unfavorable conditions because in unfavorable conditions that can affect that individual or that organism directly. But in multiple fission when the division occurs, so the nuclei are all protected inside a cyst. So the cyst can actually protect the newly formed organisms from unfavorable conditions. So multiple fission can take place. So cyst is for protection. So for protection against unfavorable conditions, cyst acts like a protective covering which is formed over the cell. Now inside the cyst, the nucleus divides many times and many nuclei are formed and when the favorable conditions return back, the those nuclei are released in the form of daughters. So this is how it happens. Where does it happen? It happens in organisms like amoeba, plasmodium and some of the algae as well. So this is how it takes place. Let us suppose this is the cell, this is the parent and this inside you see this is the nucleus and this one is this represents the cell, the parent cell. Now what will happen? It will develop a 
cyst outside so you see a cyst has developed and this cyst will act as a protection shield in unfavorable conditions now once the cyst is developed so it is completely protected inside now inside the nucleus will keep on dividing multiple times to produce multiple nuclei so if you see there are multiple nuclei which is which are formed and they are well protected by the cyst now when the favorable conditions come back the cyst will break down and these nuclei will be released and each of these nuclei will give rise to a new organism so if you see at once this was just one parent cell and from one parent cell you could actually produce one two three four five six seven eight so many multiple daughters were produced so this is the concept of the multiple fission thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos Attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.